Well, welcome to Unit 10. Uh, in Unit 10, we're going to spend some time in the Gospel of Matthew, a uh, story that's very familiar to you. Uh, so let me offer you a few words of encouragement, uh, really just about the class in Unit 10 in particular. Uh, one of the things that I think is good and bad, you get to stories like the ones that we'll cover in Matthew chapter 14. And honestly, you're going to know the story pretty well. And sometimes that's helpful uh, because you can, you can supply things from context. And sometimes even if you don't know a Greek vocabulary word, uh, you pretty much know what it means because you know the story in English and you can kind of supply that. That's not necessarily a bad thing, honestly. It means you know the scripture, so praise God for that. Uh, but one of the things I do want you to, to encourage you towards is not to use your familiar, familiarity with the text as a crutch necessarily. To continue to give diligent effort, even if you don't know that word, I'd encourage you actually to look it up rather than just supplying it from your knowledge of the English text. One thing that could happen is sometimes you're supplying information from another gospel, and, and this gospel may have a different word or, or maybe something slightly different in this context. The other thing is, if you actually do look it up, you're just going to remember it better. Uh, you're going to own that word a little bit more than if you just see it and supply it based on your English knowledge. So I want to encourage you, to, I'm, I'm glad in a sense if you're familiar with some of these passages, but don't rely too heavily on your knowledge of the English, and I really want to encourage you not to rely on English translations too much. Do the work yourself, um, and, and it may not sound right. You may not be able to figure it out, but the more you labor and struggle in the text, actually the better fruit you're going to have in your exegesis later on. The other thing that I think I'd say for this unit is I really want to encourage you in Lesson 5. Uh, you guys have seen by this point Lesson 5 is devoting just to reading from the Greek New Testament. Uh, and So you've got the Greek reader that you're going to be doing uh, where you'll review some concepts but really give attention to that. Uh, spend a good quality 30 minutes in each Lesson 5 diving into that. Uh, if you don't get through the whole thing, that's actually fine. I don't want you to be in and discouraged there. Actually, I'd rather you spend a good slow 30 minutes working your way through half of the chapter than flying through the whole thing and not really learning anything. So don't worry if you can't finish everything. Uh, give good, solid attention for 30 minutes to reading through not only the Greek, but the Greek reader and some of the commentary uh, from the author of the text. Again, slow and steady wins the race a lot of times in language study, so give good, slow attention to that, and I think it'll continue to bear fruit for you as you go throughout the semester.